Even now, my nose are searching for the Corbold who will be steeped in and your life will be shorter than a candle flame in a windstorm. Well, look what we have here. Nobody! We're nobody! Uh, okay, so so that apparently was one of Jinnah's mysterious superiors. We just witnessed that. That seems to be... Ah, we come in peace. Let's just, let's talk about it, alright? Cunning enough to evade my traps. Strong enough to defeat my guards. This must I now contend with a new enemy? Well, we have one advantage. She's obviously uh, quite overestimating Goof. <laughs> Look at that, she is overestimating him. Let's see who we're dealing with here. An unusual looking elf. An exotic drain, apparently. Highly arrogant. Well, we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, it seems to be familiar. What's that? Demonic, not devilish. Okay. Yep. Apparently the same sub race. Oh god! Well, oh god, no, wait a second, I don't know, I misclicked there, and uh, I don't like to, to reload, but I think this here warrants a reload. I just double clicked on her and then, and then we attacked. Which isn't good at all. Let's do this again. I love how she's overestimating him, the skills he possesses. If she'd seen his fumblings. Strong enough to defeat. With all of the skills you must possess to have gained entrance to my land, yeah. it would be a shame to smell. Hound. Perhaps we could even become friends. God, tell me. Yeah, I think we might be able to, to manage if we get those those underlings out of the way, but and then, then weaken her with the powder, however that works, but as I said. It's not, not the first choice. But she's, I think, unlike with Timo Farrar, where he just went very meek and, and, and submissive because, well, it's a goddamn dragon. Here, I think he's going to, <clears throat> since she's overestimating him and apparently she has a an explicit interest in, in, in them becoming friends, as she said. He's going to be a bit arrogant, just to, to uphold the illusion of actually being tough. Yeah, I haven't decided if we're friends or enemies yet. Such confidence is admirable, even in one of the lesser races. Still, do not underestimate me, or it will be the death of you. This is a friendly warning. Now, I will have your name, or I will have your head Mike mounted on a pike. I think he's going to say he's, in being, he's interested in being friends. There's a possibility that you might be telling the truth, I suppose. What makes you think I would need your friendship? Mayhap, what I really want is a new slave. Hmm. Simply siding with that that's an option, certainly. Or number two, really. I don't think he wants to, to mention the items. Because she might get suspicious. And 
I don't necessarily think he wants to to reveal the fact that he's got a grudge against the dragon because she might use that to her advantage. So he's, he's going to keep playing the arrogant card and, and telling her that it was too easy to reach her uh, here. You may have reached me, but that does not mean you could hurt me. On the other hand, you do present an interesting point. My nulls have not been as effective as I may have hoped. Yeah, alright. That's true. We forgotten the nulls. As soon as we... If we were to attack her, the nulls would come to our aid. But too often have I seen others in the past trusting those who offer kind words of friendship only to be betrayed. I consider myself wiser than those fools, so it would take more than words to convince me that you are a worthy accomplice. How would he go about proving himself? Tell me why you are really here. I find that coincidence or chance is the explanation of liars and politicians. Feel free to tell the truth. Our meeting can end only one of two ways. Well, unlike probably older Goofeth, who would have had a plan at this point, young Goofeth doesn't. He feels like like there's a big need to 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 actually have some intrigue here, but he's just got kind of kind of rolling with it at this point. He's pro improvising. He's not going to call the dragon a common enemy again, but going in the same direction might be able to help you deal with your traitor. It's not a lie, actually. He does want that. I usually deal with such matters on my own. One must be vigilant of one's friends, lest they turn and lose their venom on you. The fate of traitors has always been death. Is there a particular enemy you had in mind, or were you aiming at being vague in hopes that I might reveal more information? It's interesting, the Harpers. I actually got a choice here. I like how the game works. And no, he was thinking of Timo Farrar. A traitorous serpent that dares to bear the noble title of dragon? Do not think by mentioning that name you win your way into my good graces. You serve him. If not, then how do you know him? I think he wants to... I forgot the little guy's name, wait a second. Deacon, that's it. I think he wants to, to, to keep Deacon his little secret. Well, Timo Ferrara knows about him, but Janard doesn't. Seeing as he has one of the artifacts. He doesn't come as his messenger. It wants to kill him, but I think he's going to keep playing tough. I met him, but I was unimpressed. The frightful king of winter ruled from his crystal splinter, and all around would bow to him alone. If one misspoke a single word, and the mighty dragon overheard, frozen death from him was quickly blown. Could have pronounced that better. I didn't know it was a poem until I was at the second sentence. That is a line from an epic written about Timo Ferrara's sire many years ago. Although in many ways Timo Ferrara has yet to reach such, such heights of power, still he is a deadly foe. Would you pit yourself against the might of this young worm? Are you so brave or foolish? Yeah, not alone. If I had some help, I might. Your plan does fit well into my own personal desire, so if you are interested, I can offer you some assistance. There is a price for my help, of course. I seek an artifact in the shape of a tower. Timo Ferrara has stolen this tower from its rightful owner, and I want it. I will provide a m powerful magical item to help you kill Timo Ferrara. If you agree to do this for me, I will give the item to you. My magic will enchant it, so you cannot use it except when with a close proximity of the dragon. What is it? It's a phylactery of ice. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. A weapon I just recently discovered. Breaking it infuses your body with the essence of an ice elemental, giving you great strength and resistance to cold. There is also a side benefit, a touch of irony to Timo Ferrara's end. 
Several years ago, he was defeated by a powerful frost giant. He is young, and he seems fear, seems to fear and hate them now. When the elemental enters your body, you will assume the form of a frost giant. Perhaps you will not even have to fight him for all. When he sees a frost giant charging at him, he might turn tail and flee. I think it's a good question to ask why she doesn't use it instead. I was planning on it, but face it. If I fail, I am dead. If you fail, I still live. I have many important things to do, and this is merely a step towards my ultimate goals. You may not like my logic, but you can hardly fault it. Now, will you do this thing for me? I get out of this. You mean besides the pleasure of my brilliant smile? Oh, I suppose I could give you a powerful artifact and a thousand gold in exchange for the tower. I happen to have a magically infused dragon tooth in my collection of rare items. I would willingly trade it for the tower. I'm sure you would find the tooth of great use. I would show you how it works after you return the tower for me. The death of Tomb of Ferrara is only a side benefit. It is the recovery of the tower I stole that is far more important. So the situation's like this. Um, I'm sorry if this is redundant to you, but I'm, I can need to gather my thoughts. Because, as I said, it's been a while. Um, basically, it boils down, if he wants to get any further, he's going to have to side with one of them. If there was a way to, to just have him duke it out against each other with him standing by, he's missed it. Now, siding with Timo Ferrar has the... Well, one downside, although it's a minor one, that he hates that guy. He doesn't like Jinna as much. He, he's planning on, on getting the artifact she has from her. But... Still, she, he likes her more than, than, than him, and if he's, he's going with his guts here, and he wants to see that dragon dead. After that, he can still deal with her, because if he manages to do that, and this seems to be a good way, then he's going to be somebody who killed a white dragon. So there may be a way to simply intimidate her after that. I don't think he could do anything to intimidate or coax the white dragon into into giving in. With her there might be a chance. Also, for the time being, Gufuth doesn't think he wants to meddle with her superiors, who don't yet know him. They might if he kills Jinna, he's going to put that up. He has no intentions of giving over the artifacts to anybody. But, yeah. So I think he's going to take her offer, get the artifact that Timo Ferrar has, then get the artif artifact from Deacon, because Deacon of course will give it to him after he's freed of, of Timo Ferrar's reign. After that, come back here to Jana and try to intimidate or persuade her into just giving it over. If that doesn't work, he's going to have to kill her too, but he still has that powder that red flask of powder and the advantage of being a guy who just killed a dragon. So that seems like a logical course of action. I will do it! Excellent. Here is the phylactery. Remember not to break it until you are in the same cave as the phylactery. Gotcha! I do not expect to see you again until you have the tower. So if there is anything else Um, I'm getting some gold up front wouldn't be a bad idea because he's not going to get a reward from her, seeing as he won't tra trade the the artifacts in, which is a good way chance actually to use the potion of eagle splendor. No. You have returned. What means that? Oh, I thought we could. No, apparently that broke the conversation too bad. Nevertheless, we might talk to her again. Ah, look at that! That might be another way to use that potion of eagle splendor. But no. Even if he was attracted to her, which he may be a bit, would be too shy to do anything about it. And if he's attracted to her, it's in a kind of really intimidated sort of way. Not like the cozy feelings he has for that halfling girl. 